second period action underway. Settle back and enjoy. To Del Zona. Not going to make it to the net. That one bounces off somebody. To Del Zona. Shot. Big chance down low. Puck move back up to the point. He'll get a save on that. All he had to do was knock it away. Not a lot on that shot. Under three minutes gone in the second. Frolov's goal, a big one at this point in the game. He's put his team up 1-0. Good coverage. He's going to move this puck to Hamus, to Burroughs. Stall. Break Deke. He's got room. Picks that puck up. And we've got a penalty shot on that whistle. Well, this one's pretty black and white. If you trip a guy in a breakaway, you're going to give him a penalty shot. That's what we've got coming up. A good call by the ref. The Rangers' opportunity. A penalty shot here in regulation. This is the most dramatic spectacle in hockey. The penalty shot, and he deked him and scored. New York Rangers offense right now appears to be churning this game in their direction. They seem to be taking it over, Gary, not only with the fact that they have scored to make it a 2-0 game, but they're out-chancing the other team. Scored by number 18, Mark Stahl! And with that whistle, an offside faceoff coming up. Seven seconds. Ballard. Looks like we've got a delayed call coming. Uh, referee's got his arm up here. Play will go on for the moment. Anisimov's penalty, two minutes for tripping. You know, I'm not sure he didn't just step on this stick, but from where the ref was standing, he had to call it tripping. The Canucks power play. This is going to be the first opportunity of the game for them to work it. Good play to break up that pass. Good body work. He carries that one himself. He's alone. Breakaway. Good poke check. That's going to take away a breakaway opportunity. Henrik. Loose puck and he gains control of it. Takes that pass up on the line from down low. Arm up. We've got a penalty coming. Delayed call. Let's see what this is. The Rangers are down a man. That whistle, two minutes interference now they're calling this interference and i think sometimes the defensive player has to be given the benefit of the doubt the refs didn't buy it that time vancouver's going to extend their power play chance on this whistle girardi stick right place right time move that puck out of there and he did up the wing he's got that one on the tape trying to find a way to get this out of the zone that'll take the pressure off as he moves that one away over eight minutes gone in the second. Stahl's goal increases his lead to two. Raymond, good job with a stick to get that puck off the offensive hands. Good quick pass right there. Scoring chance down low. Good effort with a stick. Dangerous territory, he'll clear it out in front of the net. To Kessler. Puts the blocker on that, that was a scoring chance. And what an awesome combination of size and supreme command of the butterfly. That is Roberto Luongo. Watch out for him tonight. He will use all of his 6'3", 205-pound frame. The Rangers' penalty is over. Still got one man in the box, though. And down it goes. That's a clear out of the zone. Snap that one on net. Great effort by the goaltender. Big save.
Clark struggling in that faceoff dot. Just can't get the big wins, and they need him right now. Looked like he was going to cover that one up, but he got rid of it in time. The Rangers' PK unit has done it again. Boy, that was a long time out there, but they did not give up a goal. Under pressure back in that defensive zone. Two on two the other way. Salo to Daniel Sedin. Hangs on to that one in the offensive zone. Chance, kick, save, and a good scoring opportunity. Pass up along the wing to Callahan. Salo to Henry. Picks that puck up at the point. Good effort with a stick that time. Just reached out and poked it away to Callahan. To Gabarik. Dangerous pass picked off. That's a good angle shot. Nice save with the pad. We'll get a whistle here offside. In the 06 season, Gabrick finished first in the Wild in goals. First guy to score a hat trick in Minnesota Wild franchise history. Under six minutes left, second period of action. The Canucks have given up another one. The lead is increased against them, and they still are not taking control of the puck. Yeah, I don't like their chances. First of all, they're behind on the scoreboard, and they can't seem to generate any consistent puck possession. Not sure what we've got for a penalty, but we've got one. He skates over to give it to the official scorer. Vancouver's drawn the assessment. Two minutes slashing. Oh, man, Gary, what a slash. I mean, this had to be payback. Something had to happen earlier because he two-handed him. New York Rangers power play teams coming out. If they can pick one up here, they're going to extend that lead to three. Burroughs. Shot score! And a shorthanded goal! That is a skimmer, Bill. Well, he didn't give the goalie a chance to get down with the pads. That's how hard he shot it. You know after that goal, Bill, the offensive guys are going, come on, one more. Yeah, no question. And you know that they can taste a tie going into the third period. Heats on, dangerous territory. Use that stick effectively to control the offense. It'll be interesting to see what's said in the dressing room between periods here and whether one of these teams can catch a little fire. They've already had one intermission, and neither team has been able to come out and, and get it lit up. And it's there for the taking in the third. Gets down low. Oh. Scores! And a goal with the advantage. Put it on the power play. Well, to me, this really qualifies as a surprise. A playmaker turned sniper and looking good in the process. The Rangers snipers at work here in the late second period minutes. They're up by two. Boy, they are feeling it. I mean, it took them a while to get their legs under them, but they're rolling now. Scored on the power play by number 20. The Canucks whistle here for the faceoff. That one touched up for icing. Under two minutes remaining in our second period. The Rangers lead extended now to a differential of two. Takes the shot. Nice stop. In tight. Tough shot. Good save. Second period closing in on the buzzer. Oh, what a save made. Tremendous glove. Good effort there. He's got that one covered. Face off coming. Well, this game is about split second decisions, and the goaltender, I think, made a smart one. Get the pressure off by freezing it and getting the face off. Henrik's loss of the offensive draw that time, Bill, that's, a, that's serious. Well, he's losing them in every zone. Offensive zone loss doesn't cost you, but he's losing them everywhere. Ref skating over, another whistle, another call. Let's get it. The X is going to go, tripping the call. Well, this is a tripping penalty, and Gary, it doesn't take much. The smart players will put the blade of their stick under the other guy's skates, and down he'll go. 
<laughs> Makes the move in the offensive zone. He's got it. Swung back to the point. Say that one straight on. And that's the end of the second period. Vancouver's chances have been there. Can they keep that going in the third period? They've been there, Gary, but they haven't been there in strong enough numbers. I mean, they're not generating enough attack, and that's why they're trailing. Our fan club and receive a membership card, discounts on team merchandise and team ringtones, as well as email notifications on upcoming promotions and exclusive fan club member events.